Alright guys, so we are back here on the Feed the Void server, and I have my new mic set up. I don't know how this is going to go, because it is kind of really late at night, so I have to talk really low, and I haven't tried out talking low into this microphone really yet. So we'll see how good it is at picking up my voice when I have to talk quietly. But anyways, um, the only really thing, I, I actually recorded a ep whole episode... And I guess I didn't use it. Well, I, I, I'm not going to use it. I still have it. But I'm not going to use it because now that I have my new microphone, I just don't want to put out anything with my old microphone. So, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. Um, but I built this Wand of Fire last episode. And that was pretty much the highlight of the episode anyways. And, yeah. it's It's not too expensive. You just need that, but the expensive part is actually this, because that's like 8 coal, and I think it's 2 swords is what I used. Not too bad. The rest, like, doing the research for it, though, was a little bit difficult. But you know what? Now I actually... F oh, <laughs> maybe not yet. Come on. There you go. Oh my god. See, you'd think when you make them into double doors that that solves all your door problems, but no. Um, but this thing is sweet. Look at this thing. Look at how this thing goes. Look at that. It's awesome. I want to fight some mobs though, just to show you what it what it can do, what it's capable of. I'm sure there'll be some mobs around here soon. But yeah, it's like three fire shards, which isn't too expensive. Although I'm really running low on shards, and this, and the stuff I explained before, and it's not that expensive. I think it's mainly used for fighting, as far as I can see. Or if you wanna, I, I don't know that you can like legitly light things on fire. Let me try to light a tree. Um, whatever. I, oh, do I not have my jetpack on? I don't. I didn't really want to light one of my trees, but whatever. Let's see if that works. No, see, I don't think you can actually legitly light anything. Mm, there's some mobs up there. I don't know why they weren't coming near me. I'm a friendly guy, so take this. See, it works on mobs, that's for sure. I don't know whether it like does damage to them or whether it just sets them on fire. It looks like it like hits them a bit. It, yeah, that would be a good way to test it actually, in the water. See, I don't think he's taking that much damage because I'm hitting him quite a bit, but he's also getting shot by the skeleton now. He ruined my test. I guess it would be a good test to fight like a, a blaze with one of these or something. Because they're immune to fire damage, right? So that wouldn't do anything to them. So you'd really just be using any damage there was. Um, I mean, you can tell that it does some, but it doesn't look like it's much at all. I kind of need some wheat, but I think I might have some food. So yeah, I mean, I think that's all we really got in the in the Thomcraft research. Other than that, we just... Um, is it actually possible to get through these doors? That's my question. Alright, so I decided something. I'm replacing these doors with something else. I just needed power to work with. Alright, so let's go to the quarry. And let's crank her on here again. Because I turned it off because... I think it's nearing the end here. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess I had it off for too long. See, look. I thought it was at the end, but you can still see some ores down there. So it's not quite finished, but I'm going to let that finish. And while I do that, the plan for today's episode is I'm going to kind of get an area to start the next quarry, basically. I heard that copper is best at level 55 and tin is level 30 or something. So I think I might go like a few blocks lower just so I don't interfere with the surface at all. And then go just go out this way or something not entirely sure but 
I know that I want to, on my next quarry, I want to have an automatic recycler system set up at least. It'd be nice to pump them from the recyclers into mass the mass fabs as well. So I might just do that because it doesn't seem like it'd be too hard. So right, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build some recyclers and get some tubing and get that shit all set up basically. And um, let's go over here. The only other thing really that I forgot to mention is this. Um, we have three, I think we did this in the last episode. Um, we have three mass fabs now. And one we did in one episode that we recorded but we didn't use. One we did in another episode that we recorded and we didn't use. And the third one was a gift from Wolf. So thank you, Wolf. And so now that we have three mass fabs and then four, one in there, so four really. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is look up the recipe for the recycler. So it's right here. So we need a compressor. So that's basically the only hard ingredient. So... So we need machine blocks, stone, and electronic circuits. So I know I have stone over here. So we're just going to grab some stone and then I think we should have everything. I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff away as well because it's just going to crowd up my inventory and I don't need that because nobody got time for that. I can't, I really can't wait till I, I'm rich. So that's why I really want to like keep these quarries going and keep all these mass fabs pumping while I'm working just cause then I can start to get some real money and get some real power and some quantum suits and stuff so okay so whoops that's what we need that's what we need so machine blocks how many recyclers do we want I think I guess hmm we could do six Six would be nice. So we need six of everything we see here. So we have two machine blocks. Let's make a few more. All right, now we need six electronic circuits. And I think we got it. If we have enough stone, we got it. I don't know if we do though. Nice, we do. So, five and six. Sweet. Six compressors. Now, some dirt, some refined iron, and some glowstone. So, we don't have dirt, but I think we have everything else. This is way easier than I was expecting. <laughs> some dirt, some refined iron, and some glowstone. Um, do I have the blank plans in here? Where did I put those? I never have those when I need them, but I would really like to make the plan for the recycler as well. I sh probably should have made it for the compressor. I really gotta organize my stuff because I always leave it around in these, in these crafting tables and stuff, which isn't good. Like, I like that there's storage in the crafting tables, but at the same time, it makes it so I leave stuff in the crafting tables all the time. Now, glowstone. And that. Okay, I was almost right. Nice. Give me that recycler plan. Sweet. Six recyclers. Now, it would be nice to have some more diamond chests but I don't really have diamond chests so what could I use I could use could, can you pump stuff into barrels though because I noticed I don't know if it was in an episode I showed or if it was in one of the ones that I scrapped but I set up a little pumping system to try to pump this automatically into my recyclers and it wasn't really working so I don't know how that is but I suppose, <clears throat> but I suppose a uh, iron iron chest works. Just needs more iron, I guess. But I'll I'll get the chest later. I, I'm just gonna build the tubing and get that all set up. Um. 
but these are going to just be hooked up to the same power as usual so I don't even need to configure all that stuff I just really need to set this up and that's all so one transport pipe I'm going to need I'm going to need I'm just going to go a little bit of ways I don't know why but I just I don't want to run into anyone or anything so nice I'm not gonna build the quarry yet because I I don't I don't have the I'm not ready for it yet <laughs> basically we gotta think about this we're gonna be pumping it from here and one of the paths is gonna go into a chest and that's gonna be all our ores <clears throat> and then the other half is gonna go into these recyclers so how do we want them to go into the recyclers we gotta think how do items go in the recyclers too. So, um, so let, for instance, like there, I'm assuming, like we want it in the top, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, we definitely pump this stuff in in through the top, so we can think about that. All right. So I think if we do this, we should be good. Nice. And I, do you pump stuff out through the bottom or off the side though? Because if it's off the side, I'm kind of screwed. I kind of forget that. I think you can pump stuff out of the bottom though. So I'm going to just assume you can <laughs> and go with that. That would really suck if you had to pump it out of the side. Yeah, I'm really hoping that would not be the case. Alright, so we're gonna have, I'm probably only gonna, I'm gonna leave that one that's in my room, in my room. <laughs> um, so I think we're gonna have three mass fabs going. So there's one, two, three, four, five. why is there only five? Why don't, why don't I have this last one placed? Alright, there we go. So we got six and we need to get this into three, so... See, that's actually not a bad idea, now that I'm thinking about it. Because now this will be separated into three categories. Three different MFSUs, basically. Um, so you obviously gotta pump things into the bottom. Well, that that's what would make sense. Um, like, I always wondered if I could do this. Is there anything in here? Yeah, better better take this stuff out. I always wondered if I could do this though. What happens? Yes. Cause I think the la like if I remember correctly, the last time I I tried to break in a uh, mass fab with or even I was using a wrench, but the last time I tried to do it, um, it was like no man, you can't do it. <laughs> nice. That's sweet, it kept its progress. That's awesome. I'm definitely moving these that way. <laughs> That's awesome. I never thought it would keep that. Um, it like almost looks like it's powered right now, even though it's definitely not. Um, you know, I gotta I gotta power these somehow. I gotta think about how I'm gonna power these too. Um, this is just a nice way to deliver the items, but I haven't thought about power yet. Because, see, I was gonna... This works better this way anyways, because I was gonna use those three low-voltage things just for mass fabs, but this way I can use... I can just hook those three low-voltage things up to all my power, and they will still be put towards the mass fabs indirectly. Oh shit. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that works. Okay, so I'll place that there. <laughs> and then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
it's not really lag though it's like just glitchiness from the mod really but oh my god I just did it again are you serious all right guys well you guys know what I'm doing <laughs> it's just give me some trouble doing it but that's all for me I just wanted to get a start on building my next quarry and get some more footage out with my new microphone and show off my fire wand so so yeah I think we're gonna get a few new members joining here soon um, I've been in contact with a few people I just gotta really talk to them some more and yeah I'm excited for that because we haven't had a, a new member in a while and really really like three weeks or so but I'll see you next time because I'm going to go to bed because I can't even think of what I'm going to say. Good night.